5 billion people died in 1996 and 1997. Almost the entire population of the world. Only about 1% of us survived. Are you going to save us, Mr. Cole? How can I save you? This already happened. I can't save you. Nobody can. I am simply trying to gather information to help the people in the present trace the path of the virus. On the 20th anniversary of Terry Gilliam's sci-fi classic, 12 Monkeys, we're going back to 1995 to prove the craziest plot theory. James Cole himself set this entire catastrophe in motion. Did the scientists have a good idea where the virus came from? If so, then was James Cole actually sent to find the source or to be the source? Let's take a look. Repeated violations of the permanent emergency code. Here's a clipping of Dr. Goins, the very doctor that Cole was sent back to find. If they knew who the doctor was, then did they know that his lab was the source? Also, why didn't they tell Cole that he was a suspect? Possibly because he wasn't sent back to actually find a source, rather to set the necessary actions in motion. Dr. Riley writes this book on Doomsday Prophets based on her encounter with Cole in 1990. This book draws the attention of Dr. Peters, who was seen at her book release. Hi. I think, Dr. Riley, you're giving the virus a bad name. I have. Mm -hmm. Surely there's very real and very convincing data that the planet cannot survive the excesses of the human race. This is true. Her book clearly influenced him not only to read it, but to counter it with some of his own findings. Inside the lab or the Maybe the human race deserves to be wiped out. Wiping out the human race? It's a great idea. Cole names the Army of the Twelve Monkeys in 1990, six years before they were active. It is implied that he essentially gave Jeffrey the idea. Now, while later on we do find out that the Army of the Twelve Monkeys have nothing to do with the release of the virus, there is an earlier scene in which Dr. Goins is alerted of his son's plans and tells Dr. Peters. We'll ease your mind and rest assured that neither my son nor any other unauthorized person has access to potentially dangerous organisms in my laboratory. I attended a lecture of hers once. Apocalyptic visions. Dr. Peters is indeed the man who releases the virus. His expression tells us that he didn't know of Jeffrey's supposed plan before Dr. Coins told him. This would hold Cole responsible as the one to push him towards the plan. In a final analysis, we are left off with an ambiguous ending, an ending that could also be seen as the beginning of the story. It's implied that this is a never-ending loop that begins with Cole seeing his own death and set on his path. His mission was never to change the past. As the film states, the past cannot be changed, but rather to affect the future of the virus.